Hi guys, it's Emma with Polly's Paper Crafts and as some of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, um, link's down below, um, but if you follow me on Instagram you might know that last week I went on a little holiday to Barcelona. Um, it was fantastic and I actually took this with me. Now I've shown you this a few times before in videos, I haven't gone into detail about it but I thought I might today because it was a real success on the trip. So what I did is I usually use this as a planner pouch and put all my planning supplies in it but I decided I wanted to take it away with me because it is handy, it is small and it fit in my handbag for the plane and what I basically did was made my own sort of traveller's notebook sort of thing and took it away to sort of document the trip. So what I think I'm going to do is add in a few little clips um, that I took on the trip. Don't expect major vlogging skills because it just, it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you a few clips um, just around Barcelona and just things that I thought were interesting. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how I used it. Okay. gonna get right into this thing so this is my planner pouch notebook holder that kind of thing and it was made by my lovely friend who is um, so made with love on Instagram and I will leave her link down below as well and it's handmade it's fabric and it's perfect so let's undo the tie so this wraps around and it's part of like this bit here and then we unfold it, okay? This little flap just folds over just to stop anything from falling out when it's all wrapped up. Let me just check that the whole thing is in frame. It is, perfect. Um, okay, so this is what I took away with me. So, we've got this main pouch, or main sort of pocket in the middle, which is in the middle when it folds up, it's like that front pocket. And this is the little book that I made to take with me. So I made this just out of some uh, My Mind's Eye scrapbooking paper and ephemera and that kind of thing. And then I just put a little pocket on the inside, 
This carried um, lots of ephemera and bits and pieces that I actually didn't end up using because, silly me, forgot to take glue. I took plenty of washi, I did not take glue. So before I went, I just put my title on the front page, so Barcelona 2016, little heart, and then I washi taped all of the edges of the paper because it was just really handy. I thought it just, it made the paper a little bit more sturdy. And then I've basically used this throughout um, our stay just to put in bus tickets, um, receipts, uh, I doodled a little bit, I just wrote about what we were doing, again, bus tickets, um, doodles, and I really enjoyed going back to the hotel, I mean, this is the first time I've done anything sort of traveller's notebooky, but I really enjoyed at the end of the day going back to the hotel and just being able to just write about what we've done and you know it's I think when I come to scrapbook the photos and that kind of thing um, it will be the little things that I would have forgotten so as you can see that I had plenty of space in this um, if I had like a little you know like the little zip printers or whatever or the uh, Instax share printers then yes I probably would have put um, photos and stuff in as well but I just I didn't feel the need to I wanted it as a place to jot things down about the day and I took washi so let me show you how I took everything so this I had just a little gold paper clip that just kept that closed and then that front one folded down the top one didn't so that went into the main pocket I also took because these were I was kind of went through uh, my light travel kits I also took um, as the notebook was made from the my mind's eye on trend paper I took the little stickers that also came with on trend which were perfect because you get three alphabets um, some little banners um, some boxes and some shapes and that was just perfect because there it's on really skinny paper so I didn't have to take up loads of space and it just fit perfectly just behind my notebook so that just went just behind there and obviously you've seen inside my planner or inside my little notebook that I've got that little um, craft envelope with all the bits of ephemera and stuff okay so pens I usually use in my notebook or in my planner my paper mate flares I love these things but I didn't think um, that I don't know I didn't want to take this whole pouch and I'm a bit OCD I don't take these out of the packaging I take them out one at a time and put them back where they came from because <laughs> I'm that kind of person um, so I decided I would take my Staedtler fine like triplus fine liners I have had these things since I was in school okay they are really long lasting um, they are a fine tip I don't know whether you can see that probably not and I've got five six seven eight nine ten I've got a pack of ten I'm fairly sure there was twelve at one point when I was in school but clearly some got lost along the way so they were perfect just to um, add a bit of colour I took just a paper chase clicky biro and that just slotted right in there and I also took my water brush now the reason for this is these triplus pens do blend a little bit with water they are not a watercolor by f like they are definitely not a watercolor but they do blend a little bit with water so let me get a piece of paper this is the paper, this is just copy of paper, which is the paper that I put inside my little book. So if I was to scribble on there a little bit and try and blend that out, you can see the colour spreads a little bit, a little bit but you've still got the line. You might have noticed that in here I did have a little bit of watercolour-y type stuff. Let me find one of my drinks. There we go. Obviously you can't see any harsh lines there like you can with that. So you're probably thinking, well, how did you do it? So what I did was I took, and this was in here a minute ago, 
I took some washi tape and I took it in a little plastic bag. So what I would do is I would scribble on the bag, so on the plastic. Then I would use my water brush to pick that up and then paint that on. Okay, and you've got an instant kind of travel watercolour without taking a watercolour palette. If I had had, um, you know, like the peerless watercolours, then I probably would have taken like little snippets of, of peerless watercolours. But I don't have those and they were quite expensive when I looked into them, like to get in the UK. So plastic bag, staple pens and water brush is all I needed to get like a watercolour effect. And that was fine for me. I was quite happy with that. Um, I also just showed you my washi tape. Obviously, I can't fit rolls and rolls of washi in this planner pouch. And to be quite honest, I haven't got enough space for that. So what I did was I took a piece of card took four washies so I've got um, three thicker ones and one thinner one and just wrapped them round and round and round the card and that is perfect because I've got loads on there I clearly didn't use it all um, and it just like slid straight in there now obviously with carry-ons and all that kind of thing on airlines you have an issue with scissors um, they can be under a certain length, but I thought I would bypass that altogether and use my trusty old iTunes card. So basically what I would do, I mean, to be honest, I actually ripped my washi because I wasn't too fussed because this was just, this wasn't meant to be perfect. It was just a place for jotting things down. But if I'd wanted to get it straight, then obviously you can peel off the washi. One second. Yeah, you peel the washi, put your gift card down and rip against it and you get a nice sort of straight-ish edge or a straighter edge than if you were just tearing it with your fingers. So that was my washi. And my gift card just sort of slides in there with a paper clip on the front so I know that it's there. And that is pretty much it for my... This was all I needed. All I needed. Um... I would keep hold of receipts throughout the day and just sort of stick it all in when we got back to the hotel at the end of the day and this was just perfect it really really was um, so that's how I used my planner pouch for holiday um, I will do a video soon of how I use it for just normal everyday planning as well because obviously that is what it was made for but I do encourage you to check out um, So Made With Love on Instagram. She will have an Etsy, Etsy shop coming soon um, where she will be selling these, hopefully. And um, updates and everything will be coming through Instagram. So if you're interested in something as lovely as this, it's really well made. I mean, this, um, I love it. I love the fabric. I just, yeah, I love everything about it. Um, so yes, if you are interested, then please um, go and follow her on Facebook because she's going to post updates and sneak peeks and you never know what might happen. So yes, I love this thing. It worked fabulously for my holiday and I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time guys, bye.